Stunt Science with Steve Wolf. For 30 years, Steve Wolf has thrilled audiences with stunts and special effects for movies and TV shows. Blowing things up while working with stars including Tom Cruise, Samuel Jackson, Robert De Niro, Brad Pitt, Tom Hanks, Tommy Lee Jones, Terrence Howard, Mary Louise Parker, Al Pacino, David Duchovny, Bruce Willis, Whitney Houston, Barkat Abdi, Dude Perfect, Mike Rowe, Larry the Cable Guy, and David Letterman. He engages audiences with science-intensive shows such as Discovery's Presidential Beast, Expedition Bismarck, and an ambitious Hindenburg special to solve the mystery of the greatest air disaster. The Science Channel's exploration of Houdini's escapes and the History Channel's mission to test the science of ancient inventions. But his real passion has always been getting kids excited about science. My name is Steve Wolf. I'm a stunt and special effects coordinator for movies and television shows. So I take the basic science education that I had and I use that to make a living that's pretty exciting in the movie business. Hi, my name is Steve Wolf. And I'm Dashna Wolf. And our family has been doing stunts and special effects for about 27 years. My dad has thrown people off roofs, crashed cars, lit people on fire, and blown up buildings. So, uh, we have every opportunity to get hurt. We work with a lot of science, though. And safety. And safety, too. Thanks. I always forget that. Uh, so, you guys like fire? Good. I make it out of fuel, okay, which is anything that burns, and then I need oxygen, which I borrow from this room. I won't take too much of it. And then I need to have heat, and I have to have a, a chemical reaction. All right, now before I expose you guys to these chemicals, uh, of course, we always want to follow chemical safety, right? So we're going to release this stuff in the air. We want to know if it's safe for us. I developed this rule for chemical safety called the five-in rule. The five-in rule says if you're going to be in contact with something, touching it, right? If you're going to be inhaling something, ingesting something, or injecting something, then you have to read the instructions, all right? That's the only way to know. And it says right here, the contents of this vessel are, wouldn't, are safe for human inhalation. What does that mean? Safe to breathe, right. Long-term exposure may cause hair loss. I don't believe that. Come on. <laughs> no. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of fuel. This is a fuel called propane, by the way. It's a hydrocarbon fuel. It's made out of which two elements? But it's hydrogen and carbon. So we bring our fire into here, and now we've got our house on fire. Because when we're making a house on fire in the movies, we don't use real houses, because real houses will burn down in about 20 minutes. We have to have a house that can stay on fire for as long as we need it to. If we're not filming over here, we don't need fire there, right? If this is like the twins jump out of the window over here, so we could just tell this fire, to, you can go over here too. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Thank you. I need you over here. Good, thank you, excellent, all right. All right, good, this is what we want you to do, but this is just rehearsal, I need you to just wait, I need, I need you to wait back in the bottle now. Yeah, you'll get to come out again in a minute, thanks. Good, all right, all right you guys know I'm just messing around, right? You can't tell fire where to go. Really, what, what we're doing here is we were just playing around with these valves back here. So by opening and closing valves, we can control where the fire goes on a movie set. You guys know what a valve is, right? It's a simple mechanical device that controls the flow of a fluid. You know what fluids are? Yeah, okay, I'll give you a hint. Uh, two out of the three states of matter are fluids, and solids are not one of them. Well, liquids and gas, right? Anything that takes the shape of the container you put it in is a fl Oh, excuse me a second, hang on. Didn't realize I had my house so dirty here. Let me just clean that up for you. All right, there we go. Ugh. Look at that. It looks like my kid's room after a play date, huh? <laughs> you know what this is? But this is actually evidence that we had a chemical reaction here. This stuff is something we just made today. It wasn't there before, because the crew did a great job cleaning this thing up to make sure it looked nice for you. This stuff called carbon, you know what this can do to you? Who says kill you? Absolutely right. 10,000 pounds of carbon falls on your head, boom, you're dead, just like that. <laughs> Other than that, this stuff won't hurt you at all, maybe just get you a little bit of dirty, and there is a, actually a dirty little secret about carbon, and that's that uh, you're made out of it. <laughs> It's not just you, okay? It's your, you know, your parents and teachers and everything that you eat. Every living thing on this planet made out of carbon. Now, why do we set houses on fire in movies? Looks cool, right? But the thing is, you couldn't have a whole movie just about a house on fire. You know, you have to have somebody stuck in the house. Maybe they're hiding up on the roof, you know, and then they're trying to get away from the fire, and they're trying to figure, you know, how are they going to not get eaten up as the fire burns through the roof? What are they going to do? Ah, they're going to have to jump off the roof. Now, there, there's a secret to jumping off roofs, Okay. 
The secret is it doesn't matter if the roof is one foot high, the roof is 500 feet high. All that the stunt person has to do, I'm going to show you, all that they have to do is take one step, and what does the work of getting them to the ground? Shh, that's my secret. I go to work, I take one step, gravity does all the work, but I get to keep all the money. It's a pretty good deal, right? Is there anyone who want, wouldn't want a job like that? Go to work, take one step, your job's done. Get your money, go home. No? Why not? You think that's dangerous? Okay. Some people think it's dangerous. Uh, uh, 27 years of stunt work. I really can't remember one time I ever saw anyone get hurt falling. I've seen some people get killed landing. That's a completely different part of the stunt, though, right? <laughs> so, so when we land, we make sure we have something nice and soft underneath us. We use air, because air is a gas, and gases are compressible. You can squeeze them, and they give you a nice, soft, safe landing. Then we just have to figure out how to get back up again, so we can jump again. Because, you know, it's not daredevil work, it's, it's science. I'm an engineer, and we have to figure out how these things get done safely. So when we want to get back to the top of a tall building, we use this technology called an elevator. But if we're filming in the jungle, we have to get up on top of a cliff or pull someone up from a deep crevice in the ground, then we have to have some simple machines that we could bring with us and set up anywhere. So there's six different types of simple machines. What are they? You have wheels and axles, levers, wedges, screws, inclined planes, and pulleys. And pulleys have always been my favorite. I'm going to show you why. I've got a, a bunch of pulleys here. And uh, when I was in fourth grade, my teacher said that using pulleys, you could lift things that are heavier than you are. When I went in my house to see if my teacher was right, uh, when she said I could lift things that are heavier than I was if I had pulleys. So I, I hooked up some pulleys in my backyard, and I ran in my house looking for something heavy to lift. And the first thing I found was my mom. And she was a great sport. She let me actually hook her up to this thing and lift her up. Thank you, Mom. Appreciate Wait, it. Wait, how high up are this we? This is my going? mom right here, by the way. Uh, mom here? Now, let me explain how this thing works. One pulley just changes the direction of the force of a rope, all right? But if you use more than one pulley, it divides the load. And I don't mean that in a pejorative way, okay? A load is a physics term for something that's being lifted. So it divides the load by the number of ropes that are holding it up. Okay. okay. So if you want to know, do the math, you know, just think that pulley stings, stands for pieces of line. How many pieces of line are there that are holding you up? Uh, it's, a, it's taking some liberties on spelling, but in English you can do that. Pen? All right, so we're going to start to pull down on that rope. Go ahead. Pull fast. Pull, pull, pull. We're going to see what happens. Oh, if we can lift. We want to make sure this stuff is strong, right? Not, not strong like if you sit on it, you know, it crushes. That's compressive strength. We're looking here at for tensile strength, which is you, you pull on something and it doesn't break. And he seems to so far be going up. My life Look. is in the hands of middle schoolers. Oh, my, you are in trouble. <laughs> whoa, is everything good with that? What do you think, CJ? Yeah, looks good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I, actually, I did forget something. All right, always forget something. I, for, I said whenever we have a stunt person in the air, we have to have something nice and soft underneath. There we go. <laughs> Whew, what's your name? Marion. Marion, how are you? So, Marion, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. You actually have all the danger right now. You know what this tells me, though? This tells me that you're very brave, you're willing to take some risks, and in the science community, that's going to be a good thing for you. In fact, you'll be rewarded with responsibility. You know what responsibility is? Yeah, it means if you're in charge of something, no matter what happens, it's on your head. We just want to make sure that we're right underneath him, though, just in case anything goes wrong. And, Marion, look at that. So, can we take this a step further? I just want to see, can you put your pinky in there? All right. So this is not a blackboard, right? This is real science here. But actually, you just proved two incredibly important physics concepts. Okay? The first thing that you just proved is that using pulleys to multiply your force, a 13-year-old girl is able to hold up a man who weighs enough to preside over an audience of 720 people, which is phenomenal. But you know what else you just proved? Marion, you just proved that a girl with her little pinky could easily do the work of any four men. <laughs> nice work. Nice job. All right, should we let this guy back down? All right, we're going to let you back down, Bobby. Coming down. All right. Here's the runway. Foam up the runway. He's coming in hot. Oh! Ow, what just happened to my hand? Why did it, why is it turn? Friction. That's, you guys were awesome. Thank you. Cool. All right. The Stunt Science team can come to your school and raise your test scores, or to your company, or event, and get your team psyched about innovation. We have programs for kindergarten through college, professional development for teachers, and keynote shows for all audiences. We received the STEM Presenter of the Year Award from Time Warner Cable twice. We can bring everything you need for an engaging experience, including our professional stunt airbag, even with explosions. 
Enjoy solution chemistry with movie snow. See live stunts. Ride in a ball of air. Slide down a zip line. Lift friends and parents with pulleys. Shoot an air cannon. Chill out with liquid nitrogen. Fire a massive slingshot. See live movie fireballs. Or let us build a mega egg drop station. From across America to the North Pole, from the Middle East to the heart of Serbia, and 5,000 kid-filled venues along the way, we're committed to using the power of Hollywood to prepare young people to tackle the world's biggest problems. Call Steve now at 512-OLD-WOLF.